does my spirit look like? Let me just throw a few teasers out there. It's glorious. It's glorious. And it's filled with light. It is probably one of the biggest components is something called light. It's walking in the light as he is in the light. It's you are the light of the world. It is in your light we see light. I'm quoting scripture, of course. Our spirit is mer merging into this same light of God. And so what other descriptives? What other definitions? How, could we, how else could we color what our spirit looks like? Let me give you a scriptural uh, contrast of our earthly fallen view of uh, who we are versus what heaven thinks. Here's Gideon. Uh, he's uh, hiding, threshing the wheat on the, on the uh, wine floor, wine vat. And he's hiding from the enemy. And an angel shows up and says, uh, Rise up, thou mighty man of valor. He's like, I don't even know who you're talking about. What you talking about, Willis? You know, this don't make sense. I'm a coward. And you're saying, rise up, O mighty man of valor. And when the angel gets done, the angel says to him, go in this, thy valor. Go in this, uh, go in your, basically, go in this, your strength. And, and uh, uh, Gideon is just scratching his head. Well, what we're doing today is, what we're learning to do is when we're getting in touch with our spirit and the perspective that God has of us, we're saying, oh my goodness, this is OMG on steroids. I am an amazing creature of God, the, the uh, creation of God. My spirit came out of the loins of God. I looked like God. I was made in his image and his likeness. My spirit looks more like God than any other part of me so far. And God ain't shabby, so that means my spirit ain't shabby. And so the Lord is, what he's doing is he's just raising our awareness of the nobility and the stature that you and I have as a spiritual being. Now, what that's going to do for us is eventually it begins to trickle down theory. It begins to spill over into our soul. The more we see our spirit the way we are, the more our soul begins to be retrained, renewed, revamped, remodeled. And we begin to see things differently. Not only just ourselves, but we begin to see from heaven's point of view for everything around us. What we're doing is coming up into the experience of what God sees about us all the time. And unfortunately, our experiences has, has been trained by the environment around us. Sometimes it's very crass and carnal. And some of us have had some upgraded influences in our lives. And so we're in a, a, a big growth curve time of our lives. But in any case, I am quite confident that none of us have a full grasp of what our spirit looks like in our, the spiritual realm that we actually live in. And so Father is just helping us. He's giving us glimpses and doorways to walk through to begin to see the way he sees. So you mentioned Peter. So I don't know if it was his shadow. I don't know why they even called it a shadow. Maybe shadow was metaphoric or an idiom for his influence, his, uh, his, I don't know a better word, his influence. When he walked by, there was an emanating influence off of Peter. Maybe that was just a, a shadow is just an idiom. But here's what I do know. Here's what I feel strongly about is that Peter somehow had learned how to empower his spirit to be bigger than his body. In other words, his, he wasn't ruled by his soul, at least at that point. His soul would, an untrained, unredeemed, unrenewed soul would tend to subjugate our spirit. 
But, but Peter had learned how to let his spirit emanate, be unrestrained. And how, how big could we be? How, how big could our spirit be? How far could it reach? Uh, think of the disciples, and I think this is in the book of Acts. I'm not sure exactly. It says, and the people perceived that these disciples who were unlearned men, and the phrase they use it, they had been with Jesus. Now, what did they do? Just get a little Jesus on them? Well, yes, yes, that's true. But I am confident it had something else to do with it. They, because of Jesus had influence, had learned or somehow by osmosis allowed their spirit to emanate out through them. They weren't speaking from brainwaves anymore. They weren't just speaking uh, fisherman language or tax collector language anymore. They were speaking from their spirit. And the people says, we perceive that they have been with Jesus. Jesus. 